Hello, namaste, welcome to another message from your spirit guides by Spirit Dualistic. Please select crystal one, two, or three, and from there you can skip ahead to your reading. Before we start, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all the support here and on TikTok and on Instagram, on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do what I do without you, and your support means the world to me because I just love to do what I'm doing and none of it would be possible if you were not here right now so I am eternally grateful for you I love you and I will see you at your reading thank you and namaste if you selected the first group then you chose this beautiful labradorite this is kind of a blue opalescent kind of color this helps you with inner child healing past life and future life work it helps you connect with your guides and your higher self as well as your future self. It dispels illusions, sharpens your intuition, and brings the subconscious to light. It can also help you amplify your dreams or help you find the message in your dreams. It's a great crystal to have under your pillow if you're confused about something and you want your dreams to give you an answer. So we're going to take a look at your situation with clarity, see what you're learning and why it's coming up. And then we will pull some advice. And at the very end, we will do a yes and no question. And the card will also tell us why it's yes or no. So, today we're going to start off with the Hermetic Tarot. And you have ooh, the Seven of Pentacles. I can see you've been putting some hard work into something. Nine of Swords. And, oh, and Nine of Wands. Okie dokie. So you've been putting some hard work into something. Definitely hard like, you've been bending over backwards to the point of almost falling on the ground. But it's like, it's so close you can almost taste it. The harvest of your hard work. Now, you are just realizing now how strong you truly have been to do everything that you've been doing. And, um, yeah, you're a little bit guarded when it comes to your freedom, when it comes to your finances, perhaps, when it comes to... You, you just want to have nice things, you want to communicate, you want to be comfortable, right? You want your mind to be clear, you want any hot, cold energy around you to just calm down. And you've been really putting in the work. So this is the first thing that's coming up, and I can really feel a sense of pride from your guides, indicating how much, how far you've grown, and how much work you've put into everything that you're doing. Death, Two of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. You've been doing everything you've been doing to better yourself and the collective. Everything you've been doing isn't just for you, even though it is. It's been out of love. And I'm seeing this whale here. It's reminding me of Jonah and the whale, or even Pinocchio. And essentially, here's a situation where it seems like it's not even possible to survive or to get through, but you decided that everything's possible when you do it through love. And here, the Eight of Pentacles, as it says on the card, the Lord of Prudence, with Virgo in the sun, you know exactly what you're doing, and you've decided to take the proper steps to get there. I'm seeing Oliver in my head, and I'm hearing, please, sir, can I have some more? And it's like, you don't want to beg for what you want. You deserve what you want, and you work hard for it. Ooh, bingo, we got the cover card. So perhaps Hermeticism as a topic could be important for you balancing your solar and lunar aspects of yourself. The Star of David could be significant to you at this time. I recently found out that my ancestors were Jewish. I had no idea about that. Um, so I've been looking more into that. That could be relevant for you at this time. And um, Hermeticism is really seeing the connection between everything. And Five of Cups, Lord of Loss and Pleasure. So 585 five here is telling me that... Um, there were some changes in your physical realm, and you thought that this cycle of just trying and losing and trying and losing maybe wasn't going to stop for you, and you decided that you were done sitting in this energy, so you picked yourself up, put in the hard work, changed yourself to do something about it, because it was never about getting what you wanted. It was about standing on your own and doing things from a heart-centered place, and as soon as the vibration matched unconditional love... I'm seeing 706, um, was the moment that things started just coming together for you. 
you started seeing this pattern you started following it and things are starting to flow now 706 is saying everything is perfect in the present moment everything is where it's supposed to be how it's supposed to be and when it comes to your personal relationships the way that you're reorganizing your daily routine is either making a big change in your life or is about to we have the sun princess of swords and the knight of wands so seven of <laughs> you have been working so hard for this whatever this is and this can be one project many things a relationship anything take it as it resonates um you're finally learning to speak your truth and maybe you weren't doing this all the way before because maybe some of the things you wanted to express didn't seem like they were rooted in love because maybe they were a little sharp a little guarded right with this 99 the future energy it's like you were trying to preserve your future so out of preservation of self and your environment and your projects perhaps um you were holding yourself back but finally you got this gust of wind within you and you're speaking your truth you're um burying yourself naked i'm hearing the song new by uh, i think it's clara luciani um essentially she's like i'm coming before you like naked like this is me i'm taking off my makeup i'm taking off my mask i'm just showing up out here being me um and that's essentially what you're doing and you're learning that it wasn't out of love that you were holding back you are now not holding back any longer because you love yourself too much to do that to yourself anymore and now you're seeing things starting to finally fall together for you because you're speaking your mind because this rebirth to give you what you want you already knew who you were you were just afraid to act about it because you were seeing everything in a different perspective and i'm hearing that you might have a circular logic here where you could be very much one that sees things from all sorts of perspectives on purpose and when something is brought to your attention whether it's real or not or happy or sad or resonates with you or not you still will do the self-examination just to make sure that you can clean up any little piece of yourself here the snake and this man it's reminding me of the alchemist um now there's a scene where the alchemist tells the boy go into the desert and try to find life life finds life and only when he tapped into his truest source of life was he able to find um, and identify the life within the desert where it seemed like there was none so this lets me know you you've definitely been very resourceful what happens is the boy finds a snake the alchemist draws a circle around the snake and because he's contained in a circle the snake doesn't move when the circles washed away the snake is free to go you could be practicing rituals that include salt circles right now or it might be um advisable for you to start using circles in your practice whether this be yoga rituals spell work whatever it is that you're doing energy work even just um creating more of an aura around you being more aware of it denser about it um giving yourself a little force field right um you've been going within to work on yourself for you for the future and not just for the future of yourself either and this is what's seen but until you were able to stand entirely fully in this power you were coming across a blockage in your physical manifestations um in your physical most likely comfort maybe even your finances and this is uh, now you knew to look towards your spirituality i can see this here because you knew to look here it's like you got the answers and implemented them and everywhere you looked the answer was love love harder love more radically love more unconditionally and you're sitting here just tossing out love just like i'm handing out these cards right and you really really just dove radically into love i'm hearing the saint francis prayer in my mind and this is ultimate transmutation of energy this is so beautiful I'd like to see what it is you're learning besides radical love and transmutation. Reiki's coming to my mind and I'm kind of getting goosebumps. You could be a Reiki practitioner. You could be interested in learning Reiki. Um, also, if you ever want Reiki or want to learn Reiki or just have any questions about literally anything, go ahead and email me, contact at spiritualistic.com. I will get back to you. I will not charge you. You can be friends. <laughs> so... What you're learning is the lovers to make to always make the choice of love and to put yourself first because 
you are the collective the collective is you and if you're not filling your cup you can't fill the cup of others which is seemingly what you're passionate about doing and now you're feeling on top of the world you have love coming into you oh hello to the swan we got the swan and the lover's card in traditional tarot there are swans on the lover's card so this could definitely have to do with some kind of love in your life maybe it's a romantic relationship maybe it's a familial relationship or maybe this is just like casting a large net over your relationships in general even with yourself with your animals your plants it's showing up that little extra inch not because you chose to do it for someone else because you're showing up that extra inch for yourself and because you are cooking a meal for yourself it's easy to just add an extra can of tomatoes and feed another person because you are already in the right energy this is blossoming your environment apart from just you and when you're trying to drain yourself to give you're not filled and you've already learned now finally to find your own freedom by following your own flow by giving that love to yourself and it's allowing you to radically love others even more and you're seeing this lord of peace restored Two of Swords often represents um, like a, it could be a stalemate, it can be a decision you have to make, it can be um, bouncing back and forth between two energies, kind of hot and cold, right? So this blooming flower in the middle is saying that you've grown through this, like the fulcrum in the middle, the axis of everything. You have seen the circular perspective and you've used it to blossom. You've used your few resources so, so well. It's like, it's almost like the universe took your resources away from you because you knew you didn't need them in the physical realm to manifest what you wanted because of your strong alchemy, because you're such a strong manifester. And because you realized this, you practiced this, and you were successful at this, now you're starting to see it blossom in the material realm. Now things could have been a little bit hot and cold back and forth. You didn't know which direction things were going to go. But because you knew to have faith in yourself above everything else, you know that your higher self, your future self, your current self, your subconscious self, all has your back. You were able to finally trust and love yourself, which is what this is all about. So now we'll use the Herb Crafters Tarot to see why this is coming up. You have the Magician, Sunflower, The World, Pachamama, and Three of Cups lemon balm so there's definitely an explosion and a cleansing that's happening the world is spinning and you are on top of it um this isn't wheel of fortune energy where things are lucky although i do get that it's more that you are the magician and you can create anything that it is that you like but because you are you you are your own sunflower you always face the light you put the work into cleansing your energy and adding a little sweetness into everything a spoonful of sugar um, the world is opening up to you now you're starting to see all of the vibrations and the colors and monarch butterfly the monarch part is really standing out to me you are a queen or king or just ruler of your own realm of your own mind of your own vibration and because you are trustworthy with this beautiful, strong, powerful energy. The universe is trusting you with this alchemy ability because you are trustworthy, because you take the right vibrations and ground them into the collective, into the earth. Your intention is pure, it's beautiful, it's righteous. And you are not alone building this, not anymore at least. Ace of Earth, you are going to be given an opportunity to really show your strength here. And you're going to be called to tap back into this calm, zen, healing energy that you have been harnessing. As a master transmuter, as a master alchemist, as a master manifester, um, something is going to be happening around you where you feel called to use everything that you've been learning and implementing. And this might be somewhat external to you, somewhat, well, somewhat external to your projects, but what you've learned in this bigger building 
is how to nip this smaller situation in the butt through healing, through communication, through calmness, by stopping and smelling the flowers and by raising all vibrations to source. You could be currently studying the chakra system past the seven physical chakras and expanding your being to the higher planes, the higher dimensions. At the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of cups with peach. These little peach blossoms. Now, when people think of a peach, they think of a big, juicy fruit that's nutritious and delicious and orange and sacral, but the peach blossom is beautiful. Sorry, my recorder just bugged out on me, but the peach blossom is fragrant and I'm actually kind of seeing Van Gogh's almond blossoms in my mind right now, so this could be significant to you too. Going with the flow, appreciating the beauty, and stopping to smell the flowers, not because it makes the most practical sense to get your nutrients and to use your creative energy, but because... And the whole reason for this is so that you can use all of these tools to paint yourself pleasure and beauty and fun. This isn't about necessity anymore. It's about thriving. No matter what your surroundings look like, but you have the tools to make it whatever you'd like. This is about knowing that everything that you could possibly want or need is an illusion. And beauty and sensuality and pleasure and creativity is everything. This is what you are being called to utilize these tools for. You we're almost in survival mode, trying to find and gain these tools. But at the end of the day, that's not what this was about. It was about giving yourself pleasure in your life. So using the Starseed Oracle deck for your advice, you have deep cellular healing called and forge don't follow. There's definitely been a lot of friction for you to get to where you are, but because you have the power to heal this energy, you're being called to use it for good, to create what you desire, because that will create even a new path so that you can be the leader that you wish you had, as it says on this card. So your advice really is to stop looking at others for an example, because those very beings are looking to you as an example now, because you stand up, you stood up, you got through it already. You have these gifts. You are trained and it's time to train others. You are now a master. You are doing something so beautiful, so extremely, extraordinarily beautiful that this hasn't been done before. It's not possible for anyone else to do what you're doing the way that you're doing it because that calls for you to be yourself unapologetically 100% of the time exactly the way you want to be yourself. And this is where you forge and don't follow. You're paving a new path, but... Again, you're not alone. You are guided by your angels, spirits, ancestors, guides. They are here. They are listening. They are watching. They are guiding you. And you cannot make a wrong step. So your advice is to continue to forge forward on this path and give yourself a little bit extra slack, man. You deserve it. You're working so hard. And you are such a beautiful being that everyone around you looks up to. So see if there's some lavender around you. See if there are some sunflowers around you. Keep an eye out for those butterflies because this is the earth thanking you for being yourself. You are grateful to her and she is grateful for you. You are important. You are beautiful. You are here to know that you are here to be yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's how you can make the biggest difference in the collective, in the world. So for your yes, no, and why question, go ahead and pick a yes or no question. And the answer is yes, because you've already done the bulk of what it is you have to do. The rest is up to you to create out of love, out of fun. You are strong enough to already have completed what you've done. And the hardest part is over now. You've already done the bulk of it. And, ooh, you are standing in your power. You are speaking your truth. Your intellect is sharp. And, oh my gosh, you are balanced. You are balanced and everyone around you sees it. Everything that's meant for you is falling in your lap or will be. And everything that you are meant to create, you can go out and get. 
because what is meant for you is only what you decide you want and nothing more nothing less take out the overthinking allow yourself to see yourself the way that you truly are and that is balanced that is strong that is capable you already do everything that you need and want and can do so give yourself that love know that you're worth it know that you're amazing know that you're balanced and keep standing in your power you are smart you are sharp as a knife i can see it here with all this air energy allow your emotions to guide your way as um, i believe esotero or kino one of those two they say your emotions are data and that oh that has changed my life just that little tidbit so your answer to your question is yes and it's because the hardest part is over be unapologetically you because you deserve it and also um some rosemary aromatherapy could really be beneficial for you at this time things that are standing out rosemary lavender and lemon balm so if you can get a hold of those things maybe some pine or birch type smelling as well that can be some nice aromatherapy for you separately go sit under a tree find your nearest sunflower and sit and face the sun face the east in the morning face the west at night when you do your practice your meditation whatever it is you already know what to do you just have to decide to do it because you're worth it and no other reason is important i love you so much i really hope this helps shed love light and clarity on your situation and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day week month and incarnation in this ridiculous realm namaste hey there if you selected group two then you selected this beautiful raw emerald emerald opens up the heart chakra and it helps with giving and receiving unconditional love it also has to do with emotional balance security and intuition on the other side of things the emerald city from the wizard of oz comes to mind which in the movie represented kind of washington dc and money and this could very much have to do with following your heart or following the money usually when we acknowledge what is really meant for us we end up having everything that we need and everything that we want um but the road to get there might be a little bit rocky <laughs> pun intended but that's all right as long as unconditional love is the framework of your being and the intention behind what you do you will always be provided for Ooh, that wanted to come out so oh just kidding i'll reshuffle <laughs> so today we're gonna look at your situation you're gonna see what you're learning and why this is coming up for you we're gonna pull some clarity and advice and at the very end i'll pull a yes and no question and the cards will also tell me why wow this deck really wants to be shuffled for you very oh, okay specific message these cards are very picky for this pile today a little bit more actually a lot a bit more than usual you have the five of pentacles and the queen of cups hello okay lord of material trouble against queen of the thrones of waters <laughs> so yeah it's like i'm seeing the endless knot here in a sense yeah you or whatever you, you very much want nice things and you want to communicate that you want nice things and you want stability but you want stability in love not just finances not just in the material realm you want unconditional love you want to be swept off your feet you want this energy to be everything that you've ever wanted and everything that you ever desired because that's what you deserve and the more that you hold on to this the more trouble that you've been experiencing in the physical realms and the more that you decide to let go the more what you want is coming towards you but it almost breaks your heart to do so it seems like the queen of cups is definitely like here it says gemini cancer cancer um i definitely wouldn't consider gemini a queen of cups card but she does rule communication and intellect and cups um, rules emotions and intuition so this queen absolutely um she doesn't play games she sees things that are coming before it comes and everything she does she does for her herself her happiness her counterpart her family all through unconditional love and that's this character that you've learned to grow through grow into through this material trouble that you've been experiencing so next we have the knight of wands the three of cups and the five of cups 
yeah, you are or were super passionate about a project or person, relationship, take it as it resonates, but um, you wanted to work on things together. And at the end of the day, that's just not the situation that went down. So I'm feeling a little bit of three of wa um, three of swords energy through this three of cups, even though this should be abundant and working together. Um, I think that perhaps you needed to see yourself for this unconditional loving being that you really are that's spiritual and passionate and loving and intuitive and capable and abundant in order for this to work for you um, and bring other people involved. Interesting enough, in this card there's a pentagram but it's upside down, um, which is a satanic symbol in a lot of meanings. <laughs> um, the pentagram of many other things represents protection of the human race. It not only represents the Vitruvian man, but it represents one person. Um, like, not the Vitruvian man, which is the twin flame paradigm, but the actual pentagram is like one human or the human race. Flipped on its head, it's saying that maybe you don't feel at home here, or maybe you resonate with the term star seed, or Maybe everything has been going exactly the opposite of the way you feel it should have been. The way that you have been working towards, the way that you want it to, and the way that you were promised it would go, maybe by others in your life. Five of Cups, a phrase that often goes along with it, is not to cry over spilled milk. And it can also be sometimes an indication that... Look, a little happy face. <laughs> it can be an indication that maybe... Um, Maybe we're upset over something that hasn't finished yet. So you're upset, but maybe what's uh, what's coming? How do I say this? Like what's coming because you are upset is going to be so much more worth the amount of upset that you experienced. I'm also getting that um, your dreams could be a little bit crazy lately. Communication could be, or spiritual downloads could be like popping right now. And it could definitely be bringing up people, places, and things in your surroundings and also from your past where you are able to see from a very zoomed out perspective um, what's going on here and able to apply it in a very fine-tuned and precise way. Your intuition is definitely on point here with the Knight of Wands and it's only growing. Um, this Knight also lets me know that something is coming towards you pretty quickly. It's going to first manifest in the spiritual realm before it comes into the physical realm, but because there's been so much lack of whatever this is in the physical realm, it's going to come in very strongly when it does, and there will be many people involved, likely friends or family. Um, I want to say co-workers, but this whole reading is kind of like love over money, period, duh, obviously, what are you doing, da 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 da, -da. Um, And I feel like if that were for you listener maybe um that wouldn't have come out that way so that could be the person that you're dealing with or a situation that you're dealing with or just something that you are observing that has caused a roadblock for you maybe your ancestors your family friends people in your relationships whatnot um and you're like what am i gonna get what i deserve hello i feel this i see what's gonna happen i'm here to put in the work why wtf like what's going on so Oh, you have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So you have Lord of Perfected Success and Lord of Prudence. Ten of Cups is happy, happy family energy. Um, and there's absolutely fulfillment here. There's innocence and perpetuation and passion in this direction. But there's also a little bit of frustration because every time, um, perhaps every time you try to open up your heart to this unconditional love that you are so craving to receive back finally in your soul um something around you comes and shatters it either because it wasn't meant for you or it's showing up in the wrong energy or simply because you're accepting less than you deserve i really feel like it's that one for the eight of pentacles um calling me to put it over here um lord of prudence this is saying that well you really have to hang on where it you really have to hang on right now to see the way that things are going to end because everything virgo and the sun everything is manifesting perfectly everything that you do every day is planting a seed creating a sapling which creates a flower or a tree which blossoms and pollinates more etc so 
everything is happening exactly the way that it's supposed to but if things are turning out a little bit wacky it's because everything does not only involve you in the situation so you could be feeling like you're trying to create a new cycle but it's almost like it doesn't even depend on you at this point and that's why you've lost your pleasure so you almost have had to numb or dull yourself out in order to just make it at this point so that you can get back to your source of unconditional love spirituality intuition and the higher chakras now here this is very heart and feminine energy so um, grounding in your masculine chakras and your masculine energy can really help you at this time as well i see that you could be practicing this because we do have some pentacles coming up um, first with material loss then with loss and pleasure and then with prudence so you could be putting the pedal to the metal a little bit more now but also you could just be honestly caring less now that you've let go and let god things look like they're finally starting to fall together and this knight of wands is really whispering like surprise at me for some reason and he's like charging through the flames <laughs> they're like horses um and some lightning bolts so i'm also almost kind of seeing thor up in here so let me know if this is resonating for you i definitely feel like you've been through a lot just in general particularly lately like this is almost you can't cut a break because you're the one that can handle that and that's not well it's not fair to you it almost kind of is because in order for you to get what you deserve in a way that's reliant on others to grow and heal um it's like you chose before you came here to take a little bit extra uh beef or like a little bit extra of the hard stuff just so that you could bring a couple other people up there with you in the spiritual realms so that's beautiful it's because you are the queen of cups and you are loving unconditionally and that's really what that means bam here we go so we've got the herb crafters tarot if i didn't uh, mention this is the uh, hermetic tarot here and the herb crafters tarot says nine of earth apples so it's like you've just been trying to nurture your home nurture yourself take care of yourself your finances maybe you've been cooking or baking a little extra uh, grocery shopping making sure like you've been nurturing very nurturing like you've been almost standing in a mothering energy for yourself and the situation for at least a very long time and you're passionate about this you love to do this but you're finally coming back to the center of why you do this not because it's your obligation but because it's who you are and what you love to do now this apple is cut in half and i'm very much seeing um like snow white in the apple here that could be relevant um it's like there could be somebody or a situation that was trying to get you to take care of them or to get you to bite the apple to get you to um fall into temptation so that you would continue to dump all of this beautiful energy into them so that they could just take and take and take and there was nothing left for yourself which is where all this loss in materiality and pleasure and happiness comes from but you're not one whose soul can be broken your spirit your mood can't just be snapped and broken like that so you were probably going along with this and were happy to and you were working all alone and you were still happy doing it because you were taking care of others and that's in a weird way a way that you took care of yourself but you know that's not actually how you take care of yourself because if you give from an empty cup then there's nothing left to give you need to fill yourself up first so that you can overflow onto others you have the seven of water which is birch now this came out in the last reading so pile one could resonate for you too now this is indicating that the way that you're feeling you were like pinpointed into this emotional situation an intuitive situation that you're in right now maybe if things had gone down just a little bit differently you wouldn't be having these dreams that you're having in the way that you're having them or you wouldn't be translating them the way that you are you wouldn't be identifying your emotions the way that you are something would be translating differently is what i'm hearing mostly and this was meant to be on purpose because your relationships your balance your relationship with yourself 
first and foremost, is what you should always be nurturing. It should always be on top. You should always experience the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Like, you always need to show up for yourself in, like, strict Virgo, Capricorn energy but you and Mars, but you also need to let yourself be kind and playful and innocent and intuitive like Pisces. It's that work-life balance, but it's that giving to yourself and giving to others balance. You would never... It's like I see you going around and handing out this basket of apples and someone that you're giving out extra apples to has been giving you one back, like trying to sell them to you to put in your basket to give back to them so that they can sell it to you so that you can put it back in your basket to give it to them. And this has just been putting you in like this downward spiral almost. And you're standing up now. You've realized that everything, <laughs> you're very intuitive and very loving, so... Even though you found out this was happening, you probably continued to give aware of what happened. Not because they deserved it or whatnot, but because that's who you are. Because you are loving. Because it's in your nature to love radically. To love unconditionally. So, you're focusing greatly on standing in deeper compassion and deeper unconditional love. And one thing that is kind of coming up is... The movie Encanto for me for some reason um and now that was very um how do I say this like oh well you're stuck with who you're stuck with and then you have to make the best of your situation even if it's toxic eh. so um that's kind of what you're breaking free from like this ancestral karma of well this is who I identify with as my family, therefore this is who I have to do exactly what they say for, right? And even if you break free from all of this, at the end of the day, what ended up happening? She ended up going home and then listening to her grandma because, oh, her grandma had it bad too, so it's okay that her grandma makes it bad for everybody else. <laughs> like, no. That means that we let the grandma go help herself and then everybody else moves on with their life, right? They break the karma. They move forward. They love themselves and others because they now have the space to do so because they're not being actually literally squandered. Um, and this again goes back to um, this money versus love, this um, family versus, or like this physical family versus soul family, like um, perfected success versus prudence. You already know what's meant for you. And you know where you're going already it's just that things have been taken away from you every time that you take a step in the wrong direction and you already know when you're doing this but for some reason you had been continuing to do this now it's good that you are giving out of your basket of love but you always need to give to yourself first to see what you're learning or actually why this is coming up. I'll pull what you're learning next. We have the Curandera of Fire. So fire healer, <laughs> right? Very literally. Um, I saw, this is Damiana, but I saw for some reason um, like Dalmatia, like the Dalmatian Coast, um, maybe Dalmatian Jasper, Dalmatian Dog. I don't know. Um, 101 Dalmatians, since I guess we're doing Disney today. Um, so this is very much like things need to get burnt to the ground before the Phoenix can rise through the ashes. And there's definitely an aspect of magic, spell work, craft, um, manifestation happening here. This is the, um, like the queen of wands. Now she is passionate. She's intuitive. She's very special. She's very loving, but she doesn't take any crap. She's very, very confident in herself. This is very strong Leo, Sag energy, um, kind of Aries, but it's a little less refined in order to kind of fit the mold of this reading um i would really for the sake of this particular reading say that this is highly um like leo versus cancer versus like virgo with a little bit of like pisces in there um so what you're learning is how to just burn things down and rise again from the ashes with oh Adelita of air so things are definitely moving quickly way more quickly than you had expected them to but you need to stop and smell the flowers 
stop and smell the oregano because um now i kind of took a little sneaky peek at the bottom of this and it was cannabis um what came out for me when i saw this was that well you ever meet someone who was like giving people cannabis but it wasn't cannabis it was like oregano or you ever hear a story like that that's what's coming to my mind again with these pipe dreams these empty promises along with the message that i got from this apple basket so you were being told you were being given one thing and you fully expected to get what you were told and you got another thing um and i'm being reminded again from the seven of water and three of cups that this is being divinely orchestrated specifically so that you can get what you want and what you deserve and even more than that um unfortunately it had to come in this way because it didn't only involve you if it had only involved you you would have been walking down the street and had what you wanted falling in your lap but instead Someone over here had to heal, someone over there had to learn their lesson, someone over here had to cut the crap, and someone over here had to stop doing spell work, right? And then you're over here in the middle, like the fulcrum of whatever's going on, like la da 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 sweet and innocent, helping out all of these people who don't have good intentions for themselves, let alone you. And you can see this clear as day, but like your unconditional love was allowing that to grow instead of picking like the weeds out of your own life and at the end of the day you could have been pressed or pressured to actually pick the good out of your life instead of the bad because that's what the they or that told you to do that's what your job your boss your parents told you to do not because that's what your higher self and spirit guides and angels and heart and every single thing about your cellular dna told you to do you were just like listening to your mommy or listening to your boss or listening to your sister and that's not the move um but you already knew this so justice has been coming and unfortunately it came in the uh in the sense of well you need to kind of get your stuff together a little bit with a prudence and loss of pleasure well if you throw away if you consciously throw away that which makes you happy then you are consciously taking away from yourself that which makes you happy and that's just justice 11 is the number of Aquarius, which is humanitarian, very quirky, unique, brilliant energy. So you were smart. You knew what was going on this entire time, but there's something about, I don't know, you could be smoking or someone around you could be smoking, overusing, um, or even just like weaving, but not in like a positive way. It's like someone was trying to manipulate fate and weave what they wanted instead of what was meant for them. And because of this they were breaking soul contracts they were but not in a good way they were like breaking the law perhaps um they were acting unjust and cannabis is kind of like hmm, like ah, who cares everything can just be fun and goofy and we don't have to take anything seriously right and it can be beautiful because it can help you raise your energy and it can help you vibe out harder it can literally take your chakras and go boop and pull you up a couple vibes and you can feel that extra space and do with it what you like if you meditate but if you are selling one thing and giving out another or you're overusing something that's meant for pleasure it's gonna drain your whole system of even the knowledge of what you like anymore it's going to drain your whole system of wanting to have what you like and then you're just going to look into familiar places for a sense of direction even though you're meant to deal with what's in front of you not to for lack of a better term shit on it set it aside and then go back to what you already know is toxic and ask that for advice because you know what your advice is going to be you do because you're here toxic but you followed it we have the emperor and I wanted to come out in reverse. I'll flip it for you because I think you know better. You want this happy, stable home. You want to stand in the energy of the emperor. You want to be a master of the physical realm. And this energy is coming towards you quickly, but you're realizing that because you were being fed a pipe dream, you were then selling others a pipe dream. And that's not that wasn't fair to you. That's not fair to the people who are actually there for you, not because they've known you the longest but because they actually know who you are because they've actually supported you because they've actually been there for you on a mental physical and spiritual level 
not just saying you owe me this because we're family and blood is thicker than water like yeah exactly water is love and blood is thick blood carries our toxins it dissolves toxins right um and it's the first thing to go when we hurt ourselves water we need every single day all day it is the foundation of life on this planet is love and intuition giving and receiving sacral and heart and intuition energy you're finally realizing this and you're starting to try to ground it and you're creating something new but it might still just be in like the three or the five D realms at this point. You're trying to ground it. You're trying to create something beautiful and new, and now you're looking at what you've made and you realize you made a mess. And that's okay. Because everything happened the way it was supposed to, because you decided before you came here not just to teach yourself this lesson, but to teach all of these people who were literally screwing you over this lesson as well. Because you love not because you need to self-sacrifice because that is never the move read any scripture of any religion or spiritual belief ever that has never been and will never be the move just saying um you don't sacrifice yourself you don't sacrifice your happiness and it's not oh well it just goes that way you don't just take what you you don't just get what you get and you don't throw a fit that is not that's not the vibe all right this group is way too spiritually evolved to be settling into that and I can see that this is your breaking point. You know this. You just haven't been acting from this place out of a feeling of obligation towards something who would literally never do that in return for you. But you're tossing all you're tossing aside all of those that would. And I'm feeling like particularly one person or one unit. Um, so that's definitely what you're learning and why this is coming up so i'm gonna pull some advice for you from the starseed oracle and maybe some clarity see what else we can pull for you from the cards and from there we'll ask your yes no and why question so select one yes or no question and then the cards will also say why it's that answer so you have whale and orca elders Ooh, connect with your ancestors they see everything and they likely walked through something similar and have been watching you and your whole little family go through all of this crap and they're probably slapping you on the wrist every single time you do this which is why you've been losing so much around you and the answer is not to go like buy that new truck right now <laughs> the answer is not to go like give your mom a ton of money right now the answer is to take care of yourself and just learn what do you love frequency of sound diving deep go within make some music right do some sound healing pull some sound healing bowls or some tuning forks right whale and orcas this represents ascended beings whales and um orcas are also like the killer whale right it's the only whale that has teeth um it's a predator and it actually it actually is predatory instead of just like vacuuming like pl little plankton and phytoplankton like other whales and this is saying that you have the capacity like you have the capacity to take a big chomp out of life and get exactly what you want out of it you also have the capacity to be passive okay <laughs> you also have the capacity to be passive and just let what comes to you come to you and at the end of the day though that's not who or what you are you are someone and something that has a very highly intuitive highly vibrational energy but you haven't allowed yourself to tap into that even though you know that it's there because you're afraid of getting bitten by people who honestly are not worth your time double mission lightworker starseed serve the world by being you exactly be yourself right double mission your mission is for you and the collective it's not for you and your mom it's not for you and your sister it's not for you and your boss it's not for you and your family it's for you and the collective okay and in order for this to be the case you have to go within you have to allow yourself to know the truths that you literally already know 
you already know what's going on here so i don't even know why you're here it's like a procrastination or like a confirmation and that's that's okay there's absolutely no judgment here that's why i'm here i love being here for you that's what i want to do that's why i'm here because this is something that's helped me and i'm paying it forward and that's exactly the energy that i'm getting from you but lightworker starseed look around there's probably one or two other lightworker starseeds and the rest that are telling you what the frick to do they don't know what the heck they don't <laughs> like what they don't even know what dimension you exist in right let alone your actual path your actual story what you're meant to do so why would you take advice from an ant if you're a whale i mean there's always something to learn but um yeah you can't just tell yourself that everything is and everything isn't as a method to avoid doing what you're supposed to do um and so you need to serve the world but it's not in a self-sacrificing way that's never the move the move is to love yourself unconditionally it's not to make a spectacle of yourself you're not meant to be tortured you're not meant to be going through pain you're not meant to be in this cycle of loss you're meant to be in a cycle of abundance and happiness and love and from there you find your love and then you procreate and then you help them to learn and ascend and find their love and procreate who helps them learn and ascend and heal and procreate and all of this that is why we're here in this plane it's a double mission you make your body happy while you make your soul happy and that's not falling into delusions and habits like maybe cannabis or even craft or um drinking anything like this um that's not really what makes your body happy what makes your body happy is well, sacral energy it's creating things that's what we're here to do is create create music create art create babies i don't know um and to raise your energy and provide an example for others now pull your yes no and why so think of your question the answer is yes obviously <laughs> the great one of the night of the t the great one of the night of time so you got the universe which is the world and in this deck it's just like woo expanded so the answer is yes because with this opportunity at your feet you have the whole world at your feet because with this opportunity if you go for this you get everything that you want and then some and you heal and they heal and your family heals and you become abundant and you become happy and you become pleasurable and you make music and you heal and you connect with your ancestors and you fulfill your mission and it's just now it just it needs time it just needs time right now because honestly yeah, justice justice on top of justice because i past behavior is making the situation less and less inclined to be in your energy every day that doesn't mean that it's not meant for you but if you consciously walk away from something that's meant for you it's not going to stay around waiting especially if there are other people involved that are trying to get on with their lives and they need clarity too they need peace of mind they need pleasure and happiness and creation and stability too and by taking that away from others karma says it's going to be taken away from you however the answer to your question is still yes because it's what you want and deserve it just needs a little bit more time right now because of um a few extra steps that were taken that you definitely knew were not supposed to be taken um and then at the end of the day there was kind of just this well oh well whatever happens happens uh, like glossed over it and that's not healthy right um i mean there is duality and it's very true everything happens the way it's supposed to um definitely divine intervention but when you're given gift after gift after gift after gift and then you just take it for granted um it's gonna slow down the progress and it's going to like minimize like in statistics it's going to minimize um like the chances of this actually coming to you again in the future i saw 222 when i was reading that so that's very specific let me know if you've been seeing 222 333 or 777 today or like 14 1404 
things like this um you are guided everything is happening perfectly um this is such a focus on relationships and money versus love um falling into toxic family karma or breaking free and being your own person finding your own pleasure in life by being yourself which allows you to help others or not helping anybody except for the people who are telling you that you need to be controlled by them right and that's just not the vibe that's not how you love yourself and you already know this you deserve so much better and i can see here like you're literally a person of unconditional love like that is your nature it is loving it is spiritual it is giving it is pleasurable, but unfortunately you dipped a little bit too deeply into that pleasure and then you went running back into ancestral karma which is you already know not the move um so yes this opportunity is still here for you just you're gonna have to put up with um the consequences of your actions because you took those actions and you're not the only one involved in this situation but yes still because it's worth it because your the consequences of your situations will be about this big say it's an inch whereas the consequences of just letting this go will be lifetimes literally and that's why it's a little slow right now things are a little sticky a little stagnant um but you can trust there's a six-sided star and a six-sided star this is 66 you can trust that this energy is grounding for you and that it is lucky it's meant for you you just need to be now you need to be a little more precise about the way that you go about things because you were a little well, a lot extra lenient about it before you took something for granted and it's still here for you it still is trying to be in your life but now you just need to rein it in a little bit and you definitely need to make the correct steps this time believe me it's worth it the answer is yes and as soon as you cross this bridge everything that you've ever wanted and desired and so much more will be there for you waiting so what are you waiting for go talk to your ancestors <laughs> i love you and i really hope that this helped have a great rest of your day week month and incarnation in this realm i love you so much and namaste hello welcome to your reading group three if you selected the bloodstone then this reading is for you this bloodstone has to do with cleansing opening up the heart space um opening up your creativity a little more connecting with your guides and it also helps with your circulation this is definitely a stone of deep cleansing and heart healing as well as heart opening bloodstone is green and red it's a little hard to see here but hopefully you can see it's got little red speckles on it some pieces are red some pieces are green it's absolutely beautiful the reason i love this is because it's very heart centered but it's also grounding it's like your blood it helps pull toxins out of your blood it helps things that are coagulated to flow also it helps connect you with the dream realm so any of these things could be relevant for you at this time today i'm going to take a look at your situation along with some clarity see what you're learning and why you're why this is coming up and then at the very end we'll pull some advice and take a look at a yes or no question for you and the card will also tell us why the answer is yes or why, yes or no as well so to start off your reading you have the five of pentacles seven of cups ten of pentacles and ace of pentacles so this seems like there's something you're trying to get off the ground here and the more effort you put into it the more like of a false start you got there was a lot of passion here but too many secrets too many things beneath the surface um, and it ended up materializing in a harmful way for you or in a way that was draining your your energy your emotions and your physical resources however um the situation is turning on its head it is cleansing itself and coming back to a heart-centered position it's recirculating into the tent of Pen ten of pentacles lord of wealth wow why did i say tent <laughs> that could be relevant like camping for somebody um communicating in virgo so you're definitely taking care of your home life right now and you are communicating exactly the way that you want and need it to be you're not accepting anything other than what you want and what you deserve and you're even adding tax 
and the ace of pentacles is saying that because the energy of the situation has changed um now the harvest of the situation is also changing so 10 indicates a completion of a cycle 7 and 5 indicate that this has to do with a change in a relationship um where there maybe wasn't really fun or romance um or childlike playfulness there were some inner child conflicts that were coming up here when it comes to communicating what you value and want in life now whatever this is isn't meant to leave you because of this endless knot but there's a lot of like this is very aries and taurus um and aries um doesn't necessarily take other things into consideration um apart from the self which is part of the journey of aries it's realization and then um communication of that realization so um that mars energy too it's very very passionate uh with this taurus trying to ground that passion and then communicate it so it's very much aries taurus gemini like starting energy the beginning but this almost skips a few steps and it hops right into the ten of pentacles and then back into another beginning so now that um there's space in the situation for things to circulate and flow on a more spacious and individual level things are starting to face the light again and this harvest that's going to come up will provide new opportunities in a way that's actually lasting um there's an intersection of some beautiful things and this literally kind of looks like an astrological chart to me too so the current transits could be playing a big role in what's going on so i would definitely make a point to look at your um like applying transits to your chart right now first and foremost those are the transits that are like coming up and then exactly aspected to your chart so the things that are the energies that you're feeling the most currently i know as i'm recording this the sky is having a whole lot of fun um giving people wedgies <laughs> for lack of a better term so i've got judgment and six of pentacles as i cut the deck so this is letting me know that um everything is happening in your favor behind the scenes and now they're starting to not really be behind the scenes anymore um nine of cups you're starting to become fulfilled regardless of what your external situation looks like and that's pretty much the point um things are being stripped away not because they didn't serve you but because you needed space um you needed to feel okay with having nothing in order to actually appreciate having something because pisces another indication um jupiter and pisces falling underneath um the what was it oh the five five of pentacles it's saying that this physical like drainage of fun of romance of childhood energy is now being replaced with an independent jupiter and pisces energy which is literally the like expansion of playful fun childlike um innocent perpetual energy um jupiter is expansive and the second lesson of pisces in the hemicircular chart is um perpetuality so that's what you're looking at now it's like what was there before needed to crumble so that a real permanent foundation where everything was already in its place when the situation comes together is the new foundation because trying to build something together was not um it wasn't impossible it was certainly possible it's just that um part of it was an illusion and this needed to break down um there's so much scorpio energy here that wants to show but um there are just some toxins that needed to be released so that these flowers which is like you can point towards the light so you also have the ace of cups so there is a new romantic or emotional or intuitive probably all of the above beginning that is coming back towards you and i'm kind of feeling a little spirit hug right now so if there's a loved one that you have in mind right now they're giving you a little hug and the moon there are just some things that they're not ready to share not that you don't already know but this symbol which certainly is not the pluto symbol but is reminding me of it um to have pluto and the moon and like all the scorpio energy it's kind of just saying like there are just things external to you that needed to break and resolve themselves and this is definitely an instance of rejection is divine protection um because it actually will have hurt you less for the situation to be shattered and then rebuild it from scratch than it would have been to walk through it the way that it was not that you wouldn't have still gotten there all paths lead home but um yeah in order for the the sun to come up the moon has to shine and the other way around you know the moon shines because of the sun and um the moon is what pushes and pulls our tides so scarab beetle this is um 
an indication of cancer energy here while the moon is pisces the scarab beetle is um in ancient egypt was considered like the most resilient of all animals and a connection to the divine directly um it was honored just the way that um i would say cows and elephants are honored today so you are definitely being seen as very resilient emotionally strong very intuitive very loving unconditionally loving and that's exactly why this ten of pentacles is here for you um, it's also the reason why you're not able to see it right now because um flux and reflux there are so many emotions taking place right now that need to process themselves out um so that you can come not from a place of emptiness but from a place of clarity like you need to you've been creating space so that new things that are more beautiful and more pure can fill up that space energetically of course in the eight of cups this talks about regrets walking away being upset abandoned success so um there is an opportunity that feels like it was abandoned and saturn and pisces this is saying um with all this innocent energy it's like and this unconditional love that you've been showing towards the situation like you can't even believe almost that it went this way because you could feel you could have been feeling successful and then you felt abandoned and here both of these flowers are pouring into their own cups so this could very much be significant of the situation you're in right now where um every being involved in the situation just needs to spend a little bit of time pouring into themselves right now so that it can overflow into even more cups that will help affect yourself the situation and largely the collective in the future a little more to take a look at what you're learning right now first we'll look at like i said what you're learning and why this is coming up eight of pentacles lord of prudence okay so this definitely has to do with determination Ooh, and the emperor all right being stubborn back to what i said about knowing your worth and then adding tax right um but this is for yourself really no one else can fulfill you and look here's this aries coming out right with the b so this is saying you need to focus on yourself to finish your process of enlightenment and i feel like it's almost been the other way around for such a long time for you you could um resonate with the term starseed you could feel a little bit out of place here right now but you could have been seeing a lot of bees and a lot of crows or eagles lately um just to remind you that you're on the right path and that everything is happening for your favor and it's happening for you not against you um what's happening this number four is letting me know that this is to provide you with comfort and stability and like safe gushy happy energy not that stagnant not moving for energy um because it can mean home it can also mean stability it can also mean stuckness but what i'm getting here mostly is um like grounding yourself the sun in the morning sun of the morning like grounding yourself into that discipline and then feeling comfortable allowing yourself to feel comfortable and like it's okay to be where you are and knowing that you're guided also for is a number of angels being around you your guardian angels so they've definitely been around you at this point in time and you most likely know of this for the emperor to fall on top of these cups it's like you have so many emotions and then instantly the situation is being grounded and what you saw before was grounded energy but were you were focused on the emotions the other part of the situation was focused on the material aspect and where you were focused on the material aspect um the other part of the situation was focused on the emotions and here there are absolutely no cards of communication or like yeah there's no cards of communication coming up yet there are no swords so this isn't saying that there's no communication here like physically because we do have the pentacles energy but um, in the situation in the past, it was certainly lacking clear, trustworthy, um, consistent. I would say consistency is key here, communication. Um, the scarab beetle, but whatever the situation is, it's not dead. And that's why you were allowed, like why you were allowing it to kind of wither so that you can re, you can put fresh soil and fresh fertilizer and it can regrow its roots and you're, you're just tending to this garden. You do have the six of swords so there's a lot of hard oh here's your first swords card so these kind of remind me of like food dogs or those little um lions in japanese culture where one has their masculine has his mouth open to scare away negative energy and the female has her mouth closed to take in positive energy and it helps circulate and protect the um the being or watcher or provider of the home to these um, little lion dog thingies 
Um, and this is coming up for me because this definitely has a balancing, certainly Aquarian energy to it where you all just want to help yourselves and you want to help each other and you want to help the collective. That's really what's going on here is you're trying to do the best that you can for yourself and for others. And that's why the situation does stem in love. And that's why there is still hope in the situation. And that's also why it hurts so bad and why it's so hard to see through it. Why it might be easy to get stuck in those emotions of um, like stubbornness, um, a little bit of extra fire, a little bit extra anger or passion or whatever this is. And especially in regards to the situation, but you're being reminded to stay determined and be a little bit strict with yourself because um, you have already earned what's coming towards you. Now you just need to be in the energy to receive it. But if you were in the energy you were in before, um, the communication wouldn't have come off. You wouldn't have received the communication the way it was intended to be received. And it wouldn't have been portrayed the way it was meant to be portrayed on either end. But as you can see, the intention is exactly the same. It's just that... Um, it's like you're waiting on the next cycle to give it a go. Again, check the transits because this can actually give you some more of a solid timeline. And I did hear confirmation of a door slamming outside. Um, and it followed my confirmation for the yes vibration. So, three of swords, sorrow. So, okay. You are starting a new situation where you needed to walk away from something and you're kind of wondering, what did I even do to deserve this? Because you deserve better than to be treated like that. And you're right. That's why things are balancing out in your favor, and that's why the pain is coming now in the way that it is. Because it looks like likely your heart is still open, your feet are still on the ground, you're still working hard, and you're still paying attention to your emotions and your thoughts and your body. You know what's going on, you're aware of what's going on. If you are feeling upset, you are taking care of that and knowing why. If you are overthinking, you are acknowledging it and putting the brakes to it. If you need to think about something or feel something out, you're letting yourself get that. That's what's important right now. Um, I'm not so much looking at this uh, Libra energy as I am the Saturn. Saturn's kind of coming up a little bit in this line here. So um, Ace 8-3, this is saying that when it comes to the self, there's a cycle um, of material abundance that's affecting the emotions. And because of this, it's been making it hard to create clear communication and it's been creating a cycle of overthinking. Um, However, this is, been, this is trying to reground, and it has been, but this is exactly the energy that needs to be walked away from because it is a clearing of the Saturnian karma here. And with Saturn, a lot of people think of it as like a kind of a mean guy who slaps you on the wrist, kind of like the cranky uncle, like Capricorn, work hard, don't play hard energy. Um, but Saturn also can bring blessings that are actually larger than Jupiter, um, but only if you've earned it. Saturn is watching you and it sees your innocence and it sees your perpetuality of this unconditional love and it sees the way that you work with the moon. It sees the way that you are stepping into your void unapologetically and without fear and it sees your bravery and it sees that you've earned the success and because you're communicating a need to help others, a want to help others, um, by the time the next full moon comes around, um, you will have started this new cycle already and by the time the next new moon comes around after that a few weeks into it um you won't even recognize your life by that point now i can absolutely see with the libra here that things are coming into balance but primarily what you're learning is how to be strict with yourself in a way that you can implement practically into the situation regardless of it's whether it's in your life or not because whatever this was there was some kind of dependency um, but it wasn't dependency on the situation. It was a dependency on the feeling that would come from the perpetuation of the situation. But because there were still some, um, I'll say, loose bricks in the foundation, um, you are just coming back to center. You are taking a look at your patterns and cycles. You are focusing on your money. You are focusing on the way that you communicate. You are cleaning up your home, cleaning up your life, cleaning up yourself. And yes, this hurts. Um, more than likely, you're being looked in the face and someone's saying, why are you emotional? And that's part of the battle. Well, it's because you walked away from something that you thought was just starting. And that's because it is. Right? And it all kind of leads right here. 
the seven of cups the moon and the three of swords there was pain here from the very beginning that you never even expressed and you thought that you were being strong for everything and everyone by acting like this but at the end of the day it was only hurting you more and it's not that the situation wasn't here for you because it absolutely is if you look here the emperor is what takes over the moon and this ace of pentacles there is a new beginning that wants to come but this energy of the eight of cups and three of swords needs to be processed out first um walking away from the the karma and the childlike behavior here and that's not to say that we can't be innocent and childlike and have fun because that's absolutely one of the big points of life but um this emperor is a little lost right now a little fiery right now and is look he's like literally holding up a not chalice to the sky like blindly trying to get his cup filled it's just literally lack of direction here and that's not even the energy of the emperor card at all it's like quite the opposite um sun of the morning you could be trying to rise with the sun set with the well, rise and set yourself with the sun perhaps at this point in time you could be practicing ashtanga i'm seeing eight um on top of that so that's definitely ashtanga there um which if you're unfamiliar would be the eight limbs of yoga um is a helpful order of which to practice your spiritual growth if you're interested in that that can also be even just a big takeaway for you there if you look up the eight ling eight limbs ashtangas of yoga um it can help you find maybe a routine just to put over what you're doing and that can overlay your yoga practice it can overlay your business it can overlay your relationships i'm going to move on to the next topic now um but essentially this is what you're learning um why this is coming up so you do have the universe which is the world card but it's a little bit bigger a little bit poppin because we are here on a light worker journey aren't we trying to do this humanitarian soul work so you get the universe and you get the king of cups because that's what you want and that's what you deserve and that's what your intentions are and you get the seven of pentacles which this says lord of success unfulfilled but in traditional um like iconography on this card it's typically somebody who is putting work into their harvest and then reaping the rewards of that harvest but it's like this energy is absolutely here but while the focus is on nice things and what you value and what you want and what you've been through um the success is going to feel unfulfilled because that's not that's not the energy that you put into a garden right um because you're not growing the plants even if you're eating them even if you're eating the plants and you're growing the plants for food um that's not the reason that you put the plant in the ground you put the plant in the ground so that you can take care of the plant so that the plant can thrive period because it's it has its own purpose um and that's kind of what you are realizing and allowing space for right now so the reason this is coming up is because you do quite literally have the world at your feet you have so many opportunities and there's so much love around you but there's been this kind of snaky energy that's been around you and there's like this kind of face-off energy here and this king of cups is just trying to love man um but it can be hard when your emotions feel like they're getting gaslit so the success feels like it didn't show up and the nine of swords your guards are up a little bit this says lord of despair and cruelty well what's really going on is you are transmuting all of this mars energy the saturn energy your karma is cleansed any of the snake energy is leaving there are like so many well that's not a phoenix but i thought it was at first that's definitely like a two-headed phoenix or something and essentially um there is more to come up the situation it's just that um when it comes to your relationships right now the way that you're walking through your everyday life just wasn't it for being in the situation and that's normal your guard is up a little bit it it's normal that you're feeling guarded it's normal that you're feeling upset and it literally the nine of swords fell on top of this three of swords and eight of cups but what's really here is the ace of pentacles there is a new beginning here um you just need to not feel guarded about it not because you don't have the right to be because you should honestly and authentically feel the way that you're honestly and authentically feeling it's just that um there's like passion and frustration and like gemini like hot cold overthinking kind of like over intellectual like holier than thou like energy that's trying to come through and then this is also very like finger pointy energy so um if you're noticing any of those things come up for yourself um the opposite of gemini is sagittarius so try to find your freedom now that's also very fiery and that plus mars can make like a ooh, like 
No, it can be like... Just don't overdo it with the fire energy because fire and air is makes a wildfire, right? So you want to go fire and water or fire and earth or fire and space. Um, and that is kind of why all of the pentacles and the cups are coming in now because only when you feel grounded and only when you feel emotionally okay will you be able to clearly communicate what you're trying to say really and what you mean and when the other side of the situation has done the same thing they will only then be able to receive what it is you're trying to say and communicate uh, in a reciprocated manner so to kind of sum this part up um, your uniqueness is what's creating your opportunity for you. Um, the things that you want are for a reason. So don't ever feel like you are asking too much or like you are too much or that you're feeling too much because these are your arrows. This is your direction. Um, but you need to be active on your feelings. Like just do it. If you get an impulse, well, you know, think about it first. Don't go acting crazy or anything, but allow yourself to be guided by your emotions. Your emotional process right now is so important to um, receiving your harvest that you've been putting all this work into and it makes perfect sense why you're guarded right now and that's exactly where your strength is coming from too because it's like as you transmute this energy it acts like little bursts of jet fuel for you and now that might sound a little emo for back of a lack of a better term <laughs> but um, that's essentially how it works right like we've chosen to store this trauma to go through these experiences so that we can then transmute them and use this light for motivation for ourselves and also give it back to the earth send it into the collective send it out to other star systems whatever it is you feel like your path your journey is here for and this last card that wanted to come out was the chariot and this is things are moving um you're going to feel stable uh this is a seven card you're going to feel stable with yourself with your relationships and your relationships in your home life are definitely at the center point right now there is definitely a masculine, feminine, and Cancerian energy coming in here. So um, this is all about work hard, play hard, home hard, be free hard. Um, but finding the balance between all of those things. Um, one thing I can recommend to look at, especially in your astrological chart, would be the actual four points of the hemispheres in your chart, which would be the ascendant, descendant, um, fourth, and tenth house. So this is um, like kind of perspective wise where you're coming from and yourself where you're going and your relationships um where you're stuck and how you like to build your home and where you're going and your business right and then mother father self relationships um typically this would be aries cancer libra capricorn but um because um you know the sky appears to move and stuff right like geocentric astrology yada yada um it's gonna look like you're going to have different zodiacs and different planets in those spots but always look at those spots and then see where the rulers of those spots are so like um your ascendant say mine for example is um like my ascendant is aquarius so my um but i would look at my aries in my chart to see how that would relate to the aquarius in my chart because aquarius would be my number one house and aries is the ruler of the number one the first house um, so kind of dissect yourself like that a little bit. And even if you're not super into astrology, you can look at this in other ways too. For example, um, here's a bloodstone and it's for circulation and also for heart chakra. I know the heart chakra is green, but I might kind of be looking at the red in here because red is reminding me of blood. So I might kind of like pick up this carnelian, you know, just see, follow your flow and see where it goes and see the connectedness because that's part of the vibe, right? So to pull some advice for you, we have all paths lead home. I literally said that in this reading. Yes, it was off this card. <laughs> and we have messenger. Um, so serious energy. So that could be relevant to you at this time. As I'm recording this, there is a, um, like, Pleiades and the sun are transiting each other. So they're crossing uh, this week. So you could be extra in touch with spirits, angels, guides. Ooh, I got a shiver. That's a yes. Um, bringing harmony and balance together. So there are messages that you are getting. There are intuitive downloads that you are getting getting i have been like smelling things recently and seeing colors and little orbs and i already have seen these things and now i'm like oh my gosh i didn't even know that you were up there looking out after me like i thought i had a grocery list of guides and honey it just keeps expanding and the same thing is happening for you 
this is reminding me of a meditation circle or a meditation garden so if there's one of those near you like there is the self-realization center up in encinitas california near me there are some of those all over the world and other like japanese gardens little meditation gardens um or even just find some rocks and make yourself a little path go for a walk on the beach um also monoliths like um stonehenge like mound builders little like mystery rock things these are all things where you can get signs um and synchronicities so i'm definitely being turned towards rocks in a way that's more than just like hey crystals um absolutely turn to your inner authority and your intuition turn your gaze within like the card says um you are on the right path regardless of whether you know where you're going she's gonna walk in a circle and a circle and a circle tons of concentric circles and some of them she won't be able to finish some of them she's gonna throw herself for a loop it's gonna feel like she's going backwards but you know where she's going to the center so it doesn't matter if she walks through them like this it doesn't matter if she skips over all the rocks and heads straight to the middle follow your intuition let your emotions guide you process what you need to process but the focus here is conveying the messages that you are receiving not conveying the messages that you want to give right now because um you are so guided it's not even funny right now and you are on the right path so much it's not even funny right now you are this close i'm hearing you are this close triumph of light <laughs> um but also success unfulfilled so there is a little bit of work that you have to do but you're not alone if you have any question at all go inside you your higher self your future self and angel spirits guides like everybody is there for you um all over the place all the realms <laughs> i'm talking pick up your cell phone um go in look at your third eye ask for your ancestors whatever like look at your pets even random animals that you're seeing there is never not a message for you if you are looking for one if you need an answer there's always everything everywhere so keep your eyes open for that um and rocks again rocks rock so yeah let's do that you might feel like things have been a little hard on you right now and your star and your your star friends and your ancestors definitely know about this but there are a few things to the situation that have to do with um past timelines or um like yeah past timelines or past lives that are kind of concentric i will say to what you're experiencing right now which is why you might feel a little bit confused emotionally because you've walked through this before but you haven't so you already know what to expect um and that's why you might be feeling happy sad or sad happy because you see something sad but you know it ends up happy or you see something happy and you know it ends up sad or just you already know what you're dealing with here um so at this point just continue walking continue breathing and continue putting one foot in front of the other that's what you're being guided to do and know that you're on the right path know that everything is okay and if you are empathic or highly sensitive or a medium or any kind of these you got any kind of these things going on with yourself right know that you are entrusted with these things for a reason not to make you look crazy not so that you can tell everybody what you can do but it's so that you can absolutely use them to point to the light like a sunflower this reading with a little infinity that's just like a little shout out from somebody that they love you and you know who that person is um there's a lot of sacral and root energy that is meshed at the center of this and it's kind of leaked into the ego a little bit but that ego has died and now it's rebirthing the chakras below it this process needs to continue happening so that this infinity um can actually take place not that it's not already there but see how there's this little spark of indigo this intuition that's just right in the center that's what's clearing out all this gunk and that's what will separate the red from the orange and will help the sunflower face the light again because fire is not light although fire is a source of light and that is a common misconception with fiery energy sometimes and that is okay so i'd like to pull a last message for you and then um this will be why this is experience why this is happening but like bigger bigger okay and then after that we'll pull your yes and no question so get that ready so whoa you have the ace of pentacles again the four of pentacles and the ace of wands okay so hello nature first of all butterfly this needed to transform all of this needed to go down so that there could be a new beginning in the situation because this isn't just for you 
you are building something that's going to make you happy, but it's also going to serve a purpose. And then you're going to be able to replicate this and teach others how to do exactly what you're doing in the future, which is why you're going through something that's like way wacky and way hard. And you can see the spirituality all over it. You see the higher path all over it. But when it's grounded, you're like WTF. Well, this is why. Because you've done this before. You're doing it again. Unfortunately, you're in a new body now and you just need to deal with the ish, right? Um, but the spirituality is there. The creativity is there. Even the sexuality is there, if that's relevant for you. Um, this is grounding itself into a more stable and finalized, I'm hearing, energy. Finalized energy. Um, and I, now I'm seeing like red everywhere. So... <laughs> Things are grounding, things are being, becoming stable and comfortable, but authentically for the first time. And that's why, Willow, go, go sit under a tree, go find yourself some rocks, go retreat into nature, take some time for yourself, um, get your ish done, have a plan for getting that ish done, um, know that you're guided all the way and that you cannot take a wrong path as long as you're putting one foot in front of the other and you're breathing along the way. If emotions come up, exhale them out. Something good comes in, exhale it in, right? Go sit under a tree, talk to its spirit. Talk to the spirit of the wind, talk to the spirit of the sun. Find a flower, talk to it. Talk to a rock. Hey, Labradorite, how you doing? Can you help me release some illusions today? Thank you. Maybe put it under your pillow. Your yes, no, and why question. You will have that prepared. I'm going to pull right off the top as I feel called to do as these monarch butterflies are calling my name. You have the moon, which is a, I want it. Okay, I'm hearing that's a yes. I would normally take that as a no, but I'm hearing it's a yes because 18 wants to be seen as self in a cycle, but it's actually the self becoming infinite and finding its freedom, number nine. Um, but that's kind of the misconception here. And the five of air and the emperor again, Oh, because the situation is serious. Um, it's very serious, whatever this is. You're building, a, you're putting together a puzzle and every piece needs to be in the right place. Which is why some changes are necessary. Some harsh communication has gone down. Um, some things need to be trimmed, but so that they can be bundled and redistributed. And this plant will always continue to grow. Also, white sage obviously like clears stuff out. So you can pick up some of that if that helps you, if that's in your practice. If it's not, um, if it's ethically resourced and um, okay with the people that you are getting it from. Or if you live in California like me and it just grows all outside your house, go um, ask permission from the plant, harvest some that's already fallen, dry it out by yourself, and then wrap it up, you know? Um, live your life. Sit under a tree. Connect with the nature is such a big message here. Um, this is meant to work out for you. Um, it's just important that you allow it to um, because you allow yourself to experience everything that you want to be and everything you want to achieve that's so important um and you are loved you are supported you are guided your answer again is yes 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 it's just that it's still blooming this reminds me of the lunar cycle so again by the next full moon you will see a difference by the new moon after that you will be like what is my life how did that even happen <laughs> and you will be happy i promise so i love you so much i really hope this helps shed a little clarity on your situation i'm gonna leave a sunflower right here Namaste. I hope you have a great rest of your day, week, month, year, incarnation in this realm and little journey that you're walking on right now. You are never alone. You are always, always, always loved. Peace and blessings. Namaste.